Number three, words of wisdom from Dr. Daniel Schnapp-Wyatt. When the aliens invade, eat the cocaine and run for the hills. <laughs> Number two, Dr. Patton getting fired, otherwise known as the cat in the shredder. <laughs> and and I, think, I think it was Michelle that put it best when she said the cat was never the same after that. <laughs> Again, some of these things, you really had to be there. <laughs> and the most frequently noted memory that I can think of, and, and when I ask people what their favorite memory was, do we need an abstract? <laughs> <laughs> I know there, are, there, are, there have been so many memories throughout the whole time we've been here, but it has been, like I said before, it has been an amazing opportunity to be able to learn and grow with this group of people and with all these professors that have been so incredible. I know that there are so many stories with each one of them and each one of the students here, and so many things that all of us have really appreciated, and we're truly blessed, and I'm looking forward to the changes that are coming. But another internship moment, Crystal read to us a Dr. Seuss book one night. I'm not going to read it all, but I will say, so be your name Boxbaum or Bixie or Bray, or Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Good evening. My name is Sue Patterson. I am not on the program, but I'm, I'm here. And the... <laughs> I think, I've been sick, so if I fall, someone pick me up. I had the pleasure of teaching both the grad level and the undergrad, and the undergrad were so kind to ask me to speak on their behalf. So thank you, Brandy, Stacy, and Jessica. Um, I must confess I struggled with this because I read that people don't remember one word of what happens during speeches here, and that upset me. So being a little OCD, I reviewed all kinds of speeches, everything from Maya Angelou to Bill Gates to Oprah Winfrey, looking for the perfect um, message that would inspire you. In all due respect to them, nothing, I'm going to fall, nothing jumped out. So I decided to speak from my heart. I first moved to the United States from Canada about 24 years ago, and I lived in this area back then, so it was real easy for me to feel a connection to Ashland. I had the pleasure of teaching our cohort twice. So as time went by, it was also very easy to feel a connection to Brandy, Stacy, and, and Jessica, and the rest of you for that matter. Um, you see, they possess qualities that I very much admire in women. So to name just a few, strength, resilience, grace, a burning curiosity, compassion, kindness, patience, tolerance, and ambition. I wasn't going to share this, but I think I will. To illustrate that, one Saturday that we were together, for reasons that I still don't understand, I suddenly became emotional and I could not regain my composure. Go figure. Feeling very awkward, embarrassed, and also thinking, there goes my teaching career down the drain. These three women were incredibly remarkable. They demonstrated such professionalism, respect, and treated me with dignity, and I have never forgotten that. It spoke volumes to your character and to your integrity as human services professionals. I was proud of you then, and my pride for you has continued to grow. I've had the privilege of watching you grow professionally and personally, and it's so exciting that you've reached this milestone. You know I love movies. And I tend to draw many lessons from movies. And the week before Christmas, I saw this movie in which a lady asked, what's the purpose of life? And she responded to be useful and to make a difference in the world. As human services professionals, you have the opportunity to make a difference in the world. Heck, you already are. And that's an awesome privilege, but it's also a huge responsibility. I find it's difficult sometimes to conceptualize what we do as helpers. So again, I'm going to borrow from another movie um, that I saw just the other day. And the quotation was, live a life that you can be proud of, and if this does not happen, have the courage to start over again. That really resonated with me because I think that's where 
we connect with clients. I think oftentimes they cross our paths when they're not particularly proud of their lives. So we have the challenge of offering our services to them in hopes that they will move forward and start over, so to speak. You ladies have the skill set, and I'm saying ladies, but I'm going to take a little bit of liberty here and speak to all of you because I had the pleasure of teaching you as well. You have the skill set from your training to be effective helpers, but it's your unique personal attributes that Dr. Hatfield so aptly spoke to that add such a valuable dimension to this picture. You're all beautiful women and men, inside and out, and I'm excited about the work you will continue to do. A quotation that is especially meaningful to me is actually attributed to Henry David Thoreau. However, if you do a turnitin.com to check for plagiarism, it's actually crediting several authors. So turnitin.com is not totally you know, without foolproof. But nonetheless, it goes like this. It says that most men, and I would add women, lead lives of quiet desperation. So they go to the grave with the song still in them. This applies to so many of our clients, don't you think? And you know what? We need to change that. We must never settle for anything less. We have an opportunity to help those hurting men and women. And we have a gift. And I invite you to share that gift with these individuals to help them find a voice to that song. Remember the reference to our purpose in life, to be useful and to make a difference? Just imagine what a difference you could make by playing a role in putting a voice to the songs of those who seek our services, one person at a time. Your dream of earning a degree has come true. Bravo. I hope you are as happy as we are for you. You know, there's a Chinese proverb that says, if you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. But if you want happiness for a lifetime, help somebody. That's what we do. Enjoy the journey, and thank you again. As my personal dedication to the graduates here today, I've selected a song that I hope speaks to you. And as you feel it, you'll know it's true that you are blessed and lucky. It's true that you are touched by something that will grow and bloom in you. 